Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for November and December of 2019. It is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, you may want to listen to this reading for your love life if you have Mars, Jupiter, or Venus in Pisces in your natal chart. For those of you that would like a subscription to this channel, please click on the notification button and make sure the bell is wiggling for all notifications. You may want to bookmark as well. For those of you that would like a membership to my website, you can certainly go to the link below and get a membership there. You can cancel anytime you like, and also you can book a consultation with me. All right, guys, I changed my background just a little bit. It feels so much better over here. The energy feels better over here. I don't know what it is, but I feel, I just feel a lot better over in this particular area. I feel like the other area just, just had just a bad energy to it, like it was like a dead zone or something like that. And so over here, it just feels a little bit better with changing everything around. The lighting is better. So let me know what you guys think. I had a little bit of ambiance here with the tree. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the beautiful Pisces here. Pisces, what's going on for you in the month of November of 2019? I am using the Rider Waite for November of 2019. I am using the Barbieri for December of 2019. If you would like your extended reading, you can get that membership to my website and pick it up there along with all of the other extended readings and other information that I put on my website. Okay, guys. I'm just going to say a little prayer. Okay, I'm going to be cutting the deck. Pisces, what is your general reading for the month of November of 2019? You do have the Five of Cups. What is your work life and financial life? The Strength card. What is your uh, emotional life and love life? You have the Knight of Swords. What is your health and your well-being? You have the Knight of Wands. This is very interesting energy, Pisces. You've got a lot of characters here. You've got a Leo person, you've got an air person, or you've got a fire sign person. Uh, Pisces, in the month of November of 2019, as the general energies show us here, you do have the Five of Cups. So I feel like someone is regretful of something. This does not have to be you, Pisces. Remember, these readings go both ways. So you could be regretful of something or someone else could be regretful of something, but something is happening here where someone is regretful. Someone wants to apologize about something. Somebody feels like, I almost feel as though just with all these other cards that someone is garnering the strength to come forward with communication or even transportation to either see you or for you to see them to apologize for something or to um, try and figure out a way to get through a situation together. Okay, that could be what's going on. I just heard for some of you Pisces, someone in a dynamic told someone else false information about somebody else. And because they told that person false information, that now this person is regretful for letting somebody go or um, keeping somebody around who should have been let go of. This is what I'm picking up here. Uh, the thing about it is, is there is a way to get through this Pisces. I mean, this person can turn around and see that there's still a friendship there, or you can turn around and see that the friendship is still there or whoever this applies to. But the thing about it is, is that right now someone is grieving, somebody is regretful, somebody feels like there's been a loss over something in the month of November, whatever that may be. Now, as it relates to your work life and your financial life, you do have the strength card. Now, this is a Leo person, so a Leo person could be of great significance to you. An infinity, an infinity car, you might be getting an infinity car, buying a new car. Uh, for some of you out there, you're buying a, I just heard you're buying certified pre-owned. Congratulations, that's wonderful. So that could be going on for some of you Pisces out there. This is also kind of, um, wow, Pisces, I just heard that some of you are being put in leadership positions and it's like you didn't expect for this to happen. You didn't expect to be called a leader. You didn't expect to be promoted. Something is going on here where it feels to me like if people are giving you accolades and people are putting you in a leadership position, just, just be okay with it. Just kind of let it, let it run its course. Because what's happening here is that um, the less you speak, the better. For some reason in the month of November, it's like the less you speak, the better. 
So maybe something is going on here in the month of November where because of possibly Mercury going retrograde, it may not be the best time for you to be too verbose. It's not that you shouldn't speak. You should. Just don't be so verbose. Keep things short, distinct, succinct, and clear. And that is the energy that needs to happen here. For some of you Pisces out there, you're thinking about getting a cat, buying a cat. I heard some of you want to buy a Bengal cat. I've thought about that in the past. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I've totally thought about a Bengal cat in the past because like they're a cross between a dog and a cat. It's like, like my cup of tea, right? So there's definitely something going on here regarding this. And like I said, a Leo person could be of great significance to you relative to your work life for whatever reason. Leadership is definitely coming in here. Something may have happened at work in the month of August that required you to have some sort of strength or maybe your strength went down. Maybe something happened at work or something about work depressed you or upset you and going to work. It was just hard to even get to work because you couldn't stop your mind from thinking about something related to work. Okay, so that is coming up for some of you out there. Um, this could also be for some of you Pisces out there, you are getting, you are purchasing because this is work life and financial life. You could be purchasing something to strengthen your body. This could be a new diet program. This could be working out, a gym membership. For some of you, you might be adding um, some sort of exercise program, like you buy something and you have it at home. Even if you're retired, these could be like small weights. These could be something to uh, keep yourself healthy, like, um, you know, even these machines that they keep your circulation going and they keep your back aligned. So some of you Pisces might be going through that energy as well. So as it relates to uh, emotional life and love life, Pisces, you have an Aquarius person that is coming in thick and fast. This could be a, an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libran person. They want to, they want to make a move. They want to talk to you. They want to, they want to be in your presence. Okay, it's almost like somebody. I feel like somebody here is coming in and they're saying, "I miss you. When am I going to see you again?" You never see me. It's almost like they're giving you a guilt trip because you never see them. You never talk to them or whatever. And Pisces, you're kind of like, look, I'm trying. I'm trying to get everything put together. I'm trying to make everything work. Just please bear with me as I, as I, you know, get myself figured out, right? Get my, my documents figured out. Get my uh, work figured out. Get my schedule figured out. Get my life figured out, okay? So something is coming up here regarding that. This could also be somebody who has news to deliver to you regarding somebody who is of interest to you or has interest in you. This could certainly be somebody here that is what I feel possibly, this could be a friend of a friend who's kind of coming in and basically saying, okay, Pisces, you need to know what's going on here. You need to know what's happening. This person feels terrible. They feel horrible. You got to talk to them. Please just talk to them. All right. Now, for those of you Pisces out there that were in a hidden relationship and nobody knows you were dating, that is unlikely to happen. But in this particular case, for some of you Pisces out there, this could be happening to you. And honestly, if it is not somebody's, if, if you were in a hidden relationship and this person now wants to speak to you or you want to speak to this person, what's going to have to happen here is one of you is just going to have to buck up and, and talk to the other person because this is what's happening because if nobody knew that you were dating or nobody knew that you were together or nobody knew anything about it, then, I mean, this is definitely not going to be a friend coming in to let you know that someone is, you know, feeling this kind of way for you. All right. So that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Uh, for other Pisces out there, just expect massive truth to come in thick and fast about someone or something related to your emotional life or your love life. And again, it might be coming through this air sign or about an air sign, a, um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra person. All right. So um, also Pisces, uh, some of you are dating somebody that likes to speed or they like to go really fast on the road. They like to go over the speed limit, so to, so to speak. Please be careful of that. If they normally do that, tell them to slow the freak down because it is likely that, you know, they might get picked up. So just be aware of that. Or even you, Pisces. I have had to um, 
definitely work on my heavy foot, okay, in the car, because I've got a heavy foot in the car. All right, so what do we got going on for your health and your well-being? You do have the Knight of Wands. So as it relates to the Knight of Wands with health, you are starting to feel healthier. You're starting to feel more, more energy. You're starting to feel more rambunctious, I heard. For some of you are getting more rambunctious, okay? For others of you out there, there's something going on regarding wanting to travel for your health. Maybe there's something about your health that is affected by travel. Now, some people, when they travel, their health is not affected. But other people, when they travel, sometimes their health is negatively affected. There is something about travel and health that is coming up here. And for some of you out there, just for the health of yourself, you want to take a break. You want to get out of a situation because you're just like, you know what? I got to get out of here. I can't. I can't stick around here because I'm getting exhausted, I'm getting tired, and I need a break, and I want a vacation. So that could be going on for some of you Pisces out there. Other Pisces, it's almost as though you have figured out a way to increase your metabolism. So for those of you that have succeeded, go ahead and put your secret down below because I'm sure there's a lot of Pisces out there that would love to know what your secret is to increase your metabolism and increase your energy. So that is certainly happening uh, at this present point in time. So let me see if I'm getting anything else here for the month of November of 2019. Not really Pisces, I'm not really picking anything else up. Something with the military might be coming in as well. So be aware of that, something about military movement or military action here. Now, this could be something that is in your ancestry. This could be something that is in the future. And guys, remember, these readings, if they're not happening to you now, you have until January for these to come to fruition. So if they don't apply to you now, then simply say, you know what, they may not apply to me right now, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so just kind of keep that, you know, in the back of your mind as well. Someone at work considers you a very strong-headed individual at work. So just be a little bit aware of that as well. Definitely pay attention to your emails, pay attention to your phone, your texts, all of that here in the month of November uh, 2019 because you might be having people that need to cancel on you and you didn't you wouldn't want to like end up going to a location expecting some other people to be there. And then they, you get there and you're like, oh, great, they're not going to show up, so I don't have anybody with me. Uh, you know, if, if for some reason you had to attend together. Okay, so really watch your texts. Uh, for others of you out there, watch your texts because um, and follow through with your texts as well because you may have to let somebody know that you're not interested or you may have to let somebody know that, hey, I can't make it. So... Just check, check, and recheck everything. All right, Pisces. So let's get into the month of December of 2019. So what have we got going on for the month of December using the Barbieri Tarot? What is the general energy for my beautiful Pisceans? Spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, sin and masters, higher self, please surround us now. Please provide us with information that will serve the good of all people concerned and help Pisces through the month of December of 2019 to have them prepared and well aware of what is going to be going on. December 2019 Pisces, December 2019 Pisces. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and cut the deck. The first card for your general energy Pisces is, whoa, the strength card. The strength card. You've got the strength card twice, Pisces. What's going on with you and a Leo? Or what's going on with you and you garnering your strength and standing your ground and not relinquishing your power for anyone. This is definitely happening here. So what do we have going on with work life and financial life? You do have the five of cups, it looks like. Five of cups. Yes, the five of cups. Interesting, so very interesting. You have two five of cups and then you have two strength cards. This is 
unbelievable. Wow, Pisces, interesting. So what do we have going on for uh, emotional life and love life? The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. What do we have going on for health and well-being? You have the Three of Wands. This is so interesting, Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's get to it. Your general energy is the strength card. So Pisces, in the month of November and December, stand in your integrity, stand in your strength, stand in your power. Don't give your power up for anyone, no matter what happens. Never, ever lose faith in yourself. All right, this woman looks as though she's a slight bit um, PO'd. She looks like she's got her eye on something and she is not going to move. She's not going to flinch. Nothing. This is like staring at the dog and seeing if the dog turns away. Before. It's, it's like determining who's the alpha. So Pisces, you might be taking an alpha stance in the month of December, or somebody might be taking an alpha stance with you. That could be happening. Okay. And then as it relates to work life and financial life, Pisces, you do have the five of cups. So this Five of Cups is just a tad bit different. The Five of Cups here in this particular uh, deck is one where someone is watching and observing who they can trust and who they can't trust so that they don't make another mistake. So what I'm sensing here, Pisces, is you are taking a position of objectivity. You are trying to keep everything very um, objective and not subjective. And basically what this means, Pisces, is possibly you could be dealing with a situation where people think that if they befriend you, that they can get one over on you. And you're letting them know, ah, uh, not quite. So just be prepared for this, Pisces. This is definitely coming up. And this is in any type of financial dealing or any type of of um, workplace issue, all right? People are gonna want to try to get one over on you. They're gonna wanna try to sell you something. They're gonna want to try and, um, you know, uh, basically sell you a bridge in San Francisco that's not for sale, all right? And you're supposed to fall for it. Basically what this is telling me, Pisces, is don't fall for anything. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. All right, so just kind of be aware of that energy. So as it relates to your emotional life and love life, you do have the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is, I am sensing for a lot of Pisceans here, that you are, with all of the activity above, with all of this news information coming in, things coming in quick and fast, you are trying to keep everything at bay. You are trying to say to people, look, um, I want to date you. I wish I had some more time for you, but I don't. So back off. I will let you know when I'm available. Um, I don't want you to be um, thinking that you can just come and go as you please in my life. I need scheduling. I need time to look at everything. I need, I need a little bit more time to get this figured out. So Pisces, that could certainly be going on with you. And just be aware that I also feel like you might be defending another person for some reason, Pisces. Like you're defending somebody or someone is defending you in your emotional life and in your love life. So please just be aware of that for whatever reason. There might be somebody that you're not even aware of that is trying to defend your honor. Okay, so just your honor. Whoa, Pisces, something's coming up in the emotional life and in the love life relative to your honor, as in a judge. Something coming up regarding a judge or a judgment or um, some sort of decree or some sort of final, um, final case being solidified and decided upon and done and over. And that is absolutely what I am getting here. Absolutely. Has something to do with documentation, information, absolutely coming in. So what do we have going on for your health and your well-being? You do have the three of wands. So as it relates to the three of wands, this person has the key to something. They're waiting for other people to arrive. 
They have secured the fort. They have secured the bounty. They have secured through, believe me, through this new beginning. It's something new. It's something different. It's something that, you know, you you needed to have a little bit of help from your friends and now you're waiting for the rest of your friends to come in. It feels to me, Pisces, as it relates to health and well-being, that this could be a, a group, a group help, okay? So a self-help group. This could also be a group that you get involved with that makes you feel alive. It makes you feel, you know, um, listened to. It makes you feel like you you have power again. It makes you feel wanted. It makes you feel like you have a place in the world, all right? And you're waiting for them to come in to acknowledge that about you. And this is more about psychological and emotional health than this is about physical health. But as it relates to physical health, for some of you Pisceans out there, this may have something to do with, especially here in the month of December, for some reason, Pisces, I don't know what's going on here, but whatever you figured out in November or whatever changed in the month of November, you're actually seeing a significant um, you know, movement, significant progress forward in your health, especially as it relates to weight loss. So for those of you that want to lose a little bit of weight, okay, this is a great time in the month of November to do that. And I know it's the holidays, but I think you're going to be surprised, Pisces. I think you can do this. And I think you're going to do it with a, a combination of maybe not drinking so much alcohol. If you drink alcohol, if you don't, changing your diet around a little bit, moving around a little bit more if you can. And you are definitely going to be seeing those results here in the month of December of 2019. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.